Firefighters have to be ready for everything. When it comes to a standard fire, they've had plenty of practice. But it's harder to prepare for a situation that may only happen on occasion. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver has more on a fire fighting training in Crandon, centered on unusual emergency, Matt. Well, Dan and Jessica, only about 1% of household fires are fueled by propane, and while they're rare, they still happen. A special training session in Crandon means local emergency responders now, hold, now know how to respond to flames reaching 20 feet in the air. The fires here are a little more dramatic than they might find in the real world. At the Crandon Fire Department's propane fire response training, the fires may be exaggerated, but the situation certainly isn't. Our fire department constantly is trying to get better, and the best way we can do this is putting our firefighters into situations that they're going to experience in real life. Captain Brennan Cook enlisted the help of Kevin Miller with Fire and Industrial Response LLC to simulate the different kind of flame. Propane burns a lot hotter than, than any other normal Class A combustible. Sponsored by the Wisconsin Propane Education and Research Council, area fire departments learned how to respond to these severe flames. You can see with the, with the blue really close, that is the hottest fire, almost up to 3,000 degrees. As it flames out to the, white, the orange and the white, it, it tampers off with the, the dramatic amount of heat. Instructor Luke Van Oy taught the firefighters with Miller using four propane props. The object is for firefighters to, as a team, um, up safely approach a live fire propane fire um, and be able to access the control valve to shut the flow of fuel off to the prop. And the manifold here has different valves on and I can adjust how much propane goes through it to make sure the fire is puts off a good show, but it is still safe for the firefighters to approach. The trainees were taught not to focus on the size of their target, but rather on tackling it. But you can't get too entrained in the actual flame itself because the flames are pretty intense and they have a tendency to wrap around a wide fog pattern and can can burn the, the firefighters behind them if, if the fog patterns get too narrow. Although propane fires are unusual, it's important for these firefighters to be prepared for one. You have to do this as a team and being able to train on this on a consistent basis so that you know what to do in that emergency at Old Ark 30 in the morning when things happen and you're not expecting it. In Crandon, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. Looks like a great opportunity. Thanks, Matt.